Hey guys, this is Anak Palmar, and today in this video, I will be sharing you about my journey of voice from the East. So to be honest with you, before taking OSWE, I was having zero knowledge in web application and everything you can say. So before that, I was actually preparing for myself in uh, OSCP. So during those days, I kept a target for myself that I will be uh, solving 40 labs and from which I only solved 21 because at that time, my brother told me that I should do OSWE and not OSCP because OSCP doesn't have that value because there were so many cheaters who were solving uh, OSCP exams and passing it passing out so because of which I came into OSWE and started preparing for it so when I kept when I read all the, the things which should be learned before taking the OSWE I created a target again for one month which which was like I will be uh, sharing I mean I, I would be learning PHP for 10 days HTML for 5 days uh, then cookies for 2 days because cookies why buy cookies because I was having no knowledge about what what even the cookies were what even and what what was or what even the SQL injection is and how it is done I was having zero no, no, no knowledge of it so when I came across the blog, which uh, guy told, was, guy told about some of his experience of the extra miles, some challenges, what things he learned, what things should be learned. So according to that, I again created a list of things that I should learn before book taking OSWE. So these are the lists which I took, which I learned, and from th those things, I really don't was, I really don't have any knowledge about it. I was not even knowing how to use Python also. And the course clearly mentions that this course is for professional software developers and penetration testers and I was not having any certification, any experience, any course, data, nothing. So I, so when I took the OSWE, I, in the beginning I felt like normal but when I came across the extra mile challenge, it was so difficult that I cried a lot and I felt like this course is not for me, I can't do this course, this course is for professional software developers and not a person like me who doesn't even know what is cookies so because of which uh, I told my brother that uh, this course is a wrong course for me this is not the right one that I should go for and it's very very advanced so he, what he told me is that see everything is basic un until you master it so if you mastered it so this thing is will also get basic and and there were many more things that he he told me i won't i don't want to share the, those things so because of which i i internally got motivated and i kept reading solving uh, and trying 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 and i was able to solve nine uh, uh, nine labs out of 12 extra miles and after one month i took the exam and i got failed because i was not able to solve one machine which was of dotnet application and because of which uh, but i didn't felt anything bad because i already knew that i am not i am not going to pass the exam it's 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 far more difficult than i thought so after then when i came across the port swagger i got to know there are many 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 more di different vulnerabilities which which are, which are there to learn like web sockets or xsc then uh, ssrf so when I when I got to know about these one these types of vulnerability, I was like I came from a well to an ocean. I felt like there was so so much things that I can learn in uh, web application, and I spent almost two months in learning those things. I kept reading uh, blogs, write ups. I read um, hackers handbook. I did some PHP coding. And then I created a tool for myself, and some of them are. Um, I mean only one of them are public and then I got to know about bug bounty there's a bug bounty thing and then I started preparing for my bug bounty I spent 100 or 100 days in it to learn how to do bug bounty how to do recon how to create your word list how to create your own logic and those things and then I and then I after 100 after 100 days I 
God's bounties of almost uh, 265 can say 265 dollars and till now uh, until now I am still going for bug bounty only and but still when but still I am somewhere uh, have to go for OSWE also right so still uh, but there is no um, time limit for taking the exam right so because of which I am not so much in hurry to take the exam and I am more focused in my bug bounty rather than to go for OSWE because I can do that later on so so that's what I am right now doing I am doing my bug bounty I am creating labs and creating the YouTube channels just to get motivated so that I, I it's it's all it's everything to get motivated for myself and for OSWE I am still learning .NET application once I get uh, confident in .NET I will be taking my OSWE second attempt soon so that's the video for, that's everything for this video uh, if, if you have any doubts of doubts any questions regarding the OSWE or anything you can ask me in my tutor till then bye, -bye.